I'm Lillian Goodman. I'm currently a senior at Portland State University. I am visually impaired. I would say I'm in between low vision and totally blind. I'm Damkeren Mungkanya at Portland State University. I was blind since birth. Since it's my second year here, I still have like some difficulties navigating. If I'm going to a new building, it's a little bit trickier to navigate just because I don't exactly know where I'm going. Because I will admit, I, sometimes if I'm going to a new place, I get really nervous uh, that I'm going to get lost. Each building has different routes, different directions. I can use the braille on the wall to help me know uh, which room it is. But at first, I need to know which direction I should take. I'm Mike May, Chief Evangelist at Good Maps. Good Maps is a company working on accessible navigation with a focus on indoor navigation. The challenge with indoor navigation over the years has been positioning and mapping indoors. So Good Maps is working with a LiDAR and camera-based solution for both mapping and positioning. There's a lot of places where indoor navigation would be really important and campuses are certainly one. And so Portland State University is one of the first places in the Northwest that's been outfitted with the Good Maps uh, positioning and mapping. And that way we can bring in people locally and they can see how well it works. And we can also test it and make it better. One of the really big challenges with indoor mapping is scaling it. It's gotta be accurate. It needs to be ubiquitous. And in order to do that, it's gonna take a lot of collaborations. And so we're excited with Good Maps as a small company to leverage its capabilities and its innovations with a corporation like Intel to make sure we do have the best LiDAR and the best mapping and we have the leverage to scale this nationally and internationally. Intel and Good Maps are researching and investing in technology. The key challenge here that we're solving together, Intel and Good Maps, is about how do we digitalize or create those maps in a way that is easy and is reliable. In other words, how to make this process more cost effective and more dependable. With Good Maps, we're working on a wayfinding and uh, we try to work on ways to improve the wayfinding with visual and acoustic techniques as well. How we can improve the indoor wayfinding by using, for example, spatial binaural audio. If somebody's navigating, there's points of interest that uh, people navigate towards or navigate by and presenting those spatially. So when people have perception of where the sound is coming from, so instead of saying there's a sound to your left or there's a point to your left, that actually the sound is coming from exactly that point in that direction. We hope to bring these technologies together and then build better experiences for people. I really like this application because I feel that it's like we are walking with someone who guide us. So it's like walking with friends. It frequently tell us like where we are right now. I also like the look around function, like for the study room, it provides information like there are chairs, table, so I know not only the place, but I know what functions or what I can find there as well. It makes it a lot easier to navigate. It makes me feel less stress and more confident traveling. And I would imagine even if I was going to a new location and there was indoor you know, navigation, I think I would feel empowered. If we have good maps in every building, every place, I can know, I can travel like with confidence that I will go to the right place, I will be safe. The importance of making this technology accessible for all people is that many challenges that imply simple resolution difference that might not be important for a person might be very critical for a person with limited visibility. Therefore, the technological innovation is twofold. On the one, will empower new applications, but on the other, it will be responsible and will democratize the solutions.